So one thing I've always wondered is, theoretically, how might history have played out differently had the Chinese arrived on the western coast of present-day Mexico before the Spanish? Did they have that capability to do so at the time? The answer to that is yes, China had more advanced ships and exploratory technology than Spain had in 1492 and earlier, but they didn't choose to focus on that. They stopped doing it in the 1430s because they started focusing more on isolationist type of policy. So just to compare and contrast here, um, a Chinese treasure ship, which is what they used back then, and a Spanish galleon. So you could see 85 feet to 100 feet for the galleon, 400 to 500 feet for the Chinese treasure ship. And then uh, if you look at the crew size, 500 sailors, 40 for the Spanish galleon, 9 mass, 3 mass for the galleon. So that's just a Spanish galleon, for example, just to showcase the difference. But here, based off of uh, a projection by ChatGBT, it's stating that by 1450 and 1480, considering the technology, they would have been able to arrive in the Americas. So that's way before the Europeans or the Spanish ever got there. So these are a couple reasons uh, that explains why they stopped doing a lot of the maritime exploration. A lot of it was they had threats from the Mongols up in the north. Uh, they didn't get a whole lot of profit immediately with uh, Jing He's expeditions. And they adopted more isolationist policies, like I mentioned, and they poured more into local um, projects like the Great Wall and other internal infrastructure. How would their colonization have been different? I think ultimately it would have been better for indigenous people considering what we got with Spain. Uh, the reason for that is because based off the Chinese culture and historical relations, you could see that they had a bigger focus on establishing tributary relationships, trade, and diplomacy. Spain had a focus on colonization, conquest, and religious, you know, conversion. Uh, if approached to governments, local leaders likely would have retained most of their authority or all of it, uh, and there would have been indirect control through tribute. With Spain, there was direct governments and colonial administration subjugation. They did have cultural assimilation, but they generally allowed local customs to remain. Uh, with Spain, you had suppression of indigenous cultures and imposition of Spanish customs. That's why they, you know, a lot of that shit was erased. Less likely to use military unless diplomacy failed. Military action would be secondary, and with Spain, that was, you know, it was <laughs> it was a conquest. That, that was their go-to. They showcased their power that the Chinese did through um, tribute and trade and uh, not extraction of resources, whereas the Spanish were very different with that as well. And as far as uh, colonization, let's say, well, they wouldn't have had colonization to the same extent. Maybe they would have made sell settlements, but uh, this is just based off their tendencies that they had in uh, Southeast Asia which is very different. So the Chinese would have been a better deal, let's say, for the indigenous people had that happen uh, rather than the Europeans. But had this happened, this could have been interesting because there could have been a lot of trade going on. So then indigenous people would have had steel weapons, gunpowder, and all these other technological advancements sooner from trade with China. And so maybe the history would have played out drastically different had the Spanish then showed up later on in the 1500s.